I just made this stir according to a picture that I saw on the internet and uh, I made it in Archicad. If you like to know some tips and tricks to working with the stir tool and railing tool in Archicad, you clicked on the right video. So let's learn, practice and share. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Math Tutorials. In this tutorial, I want to make this type of stairs in the Archicad. I chose this staircase because first it's a curve, then it seems that it doesn't have any structure, and then it has uh, two different railings on the different sides. So I think this is a very nice practice to make this type of uh, stairs uh, in the Archicad. To start drawing this stair, First, we should draw the steps itself. I'm going to Archicad. I just draw a platform to um, draw this stair. I'm going to select the stair tool and uh, I would like to show you a trick to draw stairs. First, I need a plan to specify the radius that I want to create the stair. Here I'm gonna draw a circle with a radius of half meter. Then uh, I should draw another one to specify the length of the stir. So I'm selecting the center point of the circle. Then I put in 1.7. This is the circle. Here is the trick. If we have a line, a shape of line, like even this, and selecting the stir tool, holding down the space key and clicking here, the Archicad will draw the stirs according to the line that uh, we draw. And then here we could select the different style for the landings or the spaces between the stirs. We can do the same thing with the curve line. I should just open this circle uh, to show Archicad where is the starting point and the ending point of this line. So I'm going to select the stir tool once again, then I'm going to hold down the space key and by one click the Archicad going to draw the spiral stirs according to the uh, circle that I draw. So I'm going to remove these two circles, then I'm going to take a look in the 3D view it's right here. I'm going to move it to the center of this platform like this. And then we see that this is the basic stir structure in Archicad. So I have to remove some elements to make a stir like this. I'm going to select this stir going to the setting dialog. We can change the height of the stir, the number of the stirs. Uh, the width according to the plan that we are drawing. Uh, for now, I just want to focus on this structure. We don't need the monolithic structure. I'm going to use the strangers only. Also for the landing structure, I'm going to put it on the stranger only. Then as you see in this preview, uh, the strangers are a uh, step. I'm going to the strangers and selecting the normal slope for the strangers. Then for the finishing, I should remove the riser of the steps. So I'm going to choose only the threads. And um, on the thread option, I'm going to change the thickness of this step to 8 centimeter. And this one, it doesn't matter that if we have distance or not. Then I'm going to select this type of nosing for each step. And then I'm going to hit OK. Now it seems we are getting close to, to the model that we are making. So I believe I should remove the right stranger from the structure. Here I don't need the right stranger. And also for the flight structure, hit OK. Okay, this is the right side, and that one is uh, the left side. I'm going to do it again, like that. Okay, it seems that we have a little bit problem here, so I'm going to change the thickness of this stranger. Going to the setting, here we have uh, this one. I believe, I believe 30 centimeter would be fine. 
I'm gonna hit OK. Yeah, it seems fine. Well, this is the basic structure for the stairs. Then if you take a look deeply on the steps, you will see that these edges are not straight and it has a little bit curve. So I'm gonna do this curve to the steps. I'm going to the ground floor, selecting the step. I'm gonna click on this edit mode. Then I'm gonna select one of these steps and I'm gonna add a little bit curve to the edge of uh, this step. I believe three meter, it seems nice. I'm gonna do it like that. Then I would also do it for the back of the steps. Now I'm going to do this for uh, all the steps. Like this. Now it looks more to the picture that uh, I'm drawing this step. Then I'm gonna draw these handrails. So I'm gonna select the railing tool. I'm gonna hold down the space key on the keyboard and I'm gonna click once on the edge of the stair. Then we're gonna have this type of handrail or railings, which is the basic shape in ArchiCAD. I'm gonna select this handrail going to the setting here i'm gonna change the basic shape of the railings to frameless glass railing i'm gonna hit apply then on the segment i'm gonna select the inner post as you see we don't have any inner post frame for this one but i would like to remove this element to have a very long panel then i'm going to the panels i'm gonna remove the fixing and changing the thickness to 10 centimeter and i'm gonna select the material to something like a gypsum plasterboard and for the color i'm gonna choose glossy white then i'm gonna hit ok to see the result okay now i have to put this one on the, the structure that we have so again i'm going to the settings on the segment, I'm going to change the direction of the reference line. I'm going to hit OK. It seems fine. I should just uh, move it a little bit higher. So on the segment here, we could change it to, I believe, 5 centimeter will be fine. Yeah, it seems fine. OK, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Uh, then for the handrail, I'm going to go to the top rail and I'm going to select something like this. I know the thickness of this panel is 10 centimeter. So I'm going to put this one on also 10 centimeter. Then I'm going to hit OK. Now I have to uh, move it up a little bit. So I'm going to the segment and here I'm going to change this one to 5 centimeter. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to undo this because I believe I should give a distance between uh, the panel and the handrail. So I'm going to the panel and on the top distance, I'm going to turn this one to 10 centimeter and then I'm going to hit OK. Now it seems better. So 10 centimeters is too much. I'm going back here and then putting 8 centimeter. Okay, it seems perfect. I should just change the material of the handrail. So I'm going to the top rail and here on the 3D representation, uh, I'm going to overwrite surface and select the uh, uh, glossy white to this uh, element. Okay, now if I uh, change the material of this part down here, I believe this handrail will be finished. So I should go to the strangers here on the representation. I'm going to override the beam surface and then here uniform the beam surfaces. And then here I'm going to click on the glossy white, hit OK. And now 
we have something like this. Now I should just draw this railing. So I'm going to select the handrail once again. On the uh, shapes, I'm going to select the same style. Then by holding down the space key, I'm going to draw the handrail. It seems nice. I should just select it and change the direction of the reference line. I'm going to hit OK. We don't have any uh, structure. I'm going to the panel. I'm going to remove the fixing. The thickness of the glass seems fine. And we also need these uh, distances and cuts in the middle of these glasses. Also, I should bring it down a little bit. So I should go to the segment and here, maybe minus 30 centimeter. And for the height, I'm going to add this 30 centimeter to the height. For this distance of each glass, now it's on one meter, which seems uh, too much. I'm going to change that also here, the steps coming uh, out of the glass, like the uh, model that we are making. Uh, I think I should just uh, add a little bit depth to the reference line. So I'm going to go with eight centimeter. And also I should change this one. So I'm going to the inner post and I'm going to change it to half meter. Then I'm going to hit OK. Now it seems more look like the picture that I'm drawing from. Let's check. Everything seems the same to me. Almost. I should just add these parts of the handrail. I'm going to select uh, this one. To be honest, I was practicing this stir before recording this tutorial, and the result of uh, this part didn't come out as I expected. I'm going to do it like this. This is like the best result I could get out of this type of stir. So I'm going to do it like this, and I'm going to hit OK. Here, I should change this length to one meter, maybe 20, like that. Uh, the problem is that I could extend the radius of uh, this curve, but then the distance from the panel to this part will be increased to a more distance. So if you know how to match this part with this part, please write it down on the comments and share your knowledge with me and everyone. I'm going to uh, do the same for this one. But before, I would like to change the number to 10 centimeter to reduce the distance doing the same to the other handrail. Yep, now it seems fine. Now it seems much better. Okay, I'm going to select this handrail, going to the edit. I'm going to select this part, and I'm just going to delete with the delete key on the keyboard. So doing the same for this part. I don't um, know if we have the same thing here on the top, but uh, I'd rather to remove it for now. Like that, I'm going to select this part and then delete, exit the edit mode, and this is it. This is the stair that uh, we draw according to uh, this picture. And if you have more question about drawing these type of uh, stairs, please write it down on the comment section. I'm going to read all of your question and answer them immediately. Also, if this is the first time that you're watching my tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there will be many more uh, tutorials in ARCHICAD and other applications that benefits the architects like 3 ds Max and a V-Ray plugin. Also, don't forget to hit the like button on this video if you uh, learned something new. So have a nice day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.